Hey guys, I'm Tim Montana, country music singer and avid outdoorsman. If I die before I wake, get ready. This is Velocity Outdoor Channel. You've never seen an outdoor show like this. Every episode of this show is absolutely nuts. Joining me on this adventure is singer, songwriter, hit maker, and all around good old boy, Lee Bryce. Put your seatbelts on, it's Velocity Outdoor time. Guys, we're shooting episode two of The Wild Side, right outside of Nashville, Tennessee, at a beautiful 2,000 acre farm. We've been quarantined for the last couple months, me and my family, and it was just finally time we had to get out, so we figured come out of the country. I've got my good friend, Mr. Lee Bryce, amazing singer-songwriter, gonna come join us. Oh, man. Lord. Look at that. Yeah. You been quarantined? I've been quarantined. Get got in the, here. Got the youngins, gotta keep it safe. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun, so we're gonna do a, an air gun challenge. challenge we're going to benefit children of fallen patriots foundation that's awesome doing man. good things for that's awesome. you know fallen soldiers absolutely. kids scholarships you're, you're big yeah. into that stuff as well absolutely absolutely the mission of children of fallen patriots is to provide college scholarships to military children who've lost a parent in the line of duty death is just the beginning um, going on is difficult and how do we all get involved and help them through that once Children of Paul and Patriots called, it really turned my life completely around. There's no words to describe what they've done for me. It was like having another family behind me. We were reassured that we were still cared about, that Andy's life mattered. We have the ability to make a difference in people's lives whose families have made sacrifices for us. Let me show you a gun. Oh, well. I'm in. Let me show you this gun. Benjamin Marauder, shooting pellets, but high power. I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> that's different than, the, than what we grew up having. Yeah. Right? I still hold the door for all the ladies. We got, got a squirrel target right over there. I mean, I kind of see. See if you can whack it. I kind of see. See? Oh, there we go. Come on, Daddy, hit it. Ooh, on target, cuz. Come on. That That's dead on, bud. <laughs> Golly. Let me get some. It's moving pretty quick. That's quiet, too. That scope's quiet. nice. I mean, that's like 35 yards at least. And it's, it's like no gunpowder in the same. No recoil. Wow. So you pump it up up here, holds the air, and that's what fires your Bro, pellet out. That is so sweet. And you so can sweet. pull the trigger as fast as you want. You can dump 10 pellets. Oh, that, we should try that. All right, man, this is challenge number one. And uh, I've got our buddy, let's get him on the FaceTime, old Scott Thornton, a uh, professional NHL oh, player yeah. for years and years and years. Uh, we're gonna FaceTime him and we're gonna challenge him. Scott, what's up, old boy? Yo, what's up, Timmy? How you doing, buddy? Good to hear from you, man. What have you been up to? Uh, we're doing a little challenge here. Got this badass pellet rifle, the, uh, the Marauder, and we wanna challenge you, old boy. Yeah, you got me at a good time, buddy. I'm just out here in my range here right now with my new center point. CP400, man, this crossbow is amazing. Oh, man, let's find the target. Here we go. Oh! Safety on. Safety <laughs> for safety. Used to always try to go blocker high on the goalies. Never really hit it. All right, here we go. 
Oh, you <laughs> might be tired. <laughs> All right. Obviously, our industry shut down. Yeah, it's, coronavirus. I mean, it's definitely been a such a weird thing. Yeah. Like, there's, I mean, in our lifetime, things shutting down like this has never happened. Like right. shutting down. So, you know, we were talking earlier. I, sh I showed you the the bus. I build a little studio in it, and I'm in a full studio, so that I, on my downtime on the road, I get all that stuff done out there. I mean, I sing vocals. Hey, the duet I have right now with Carly Pierce, I sing my vocal on my bus and send it to them. That is the OG quarantine right there, my friend. That's what I'm saying. So I did a vocal, I sent it to them, and that's what you hear on the radio right now. So Lee, clearly I'm winning right now, so you're gonna need that, that comeback moment. It's very early. It's very early, okay? You ain't gonna take me, son. You ain't gonna take me! <laughs> Come on now! <laughs> All right, Lee, true hangover fashion. We have Bloody Marys in a bottle. And we've shot standing still. Now we're gonna do a movement shot. And we're gonna step it up. So we're gonna bring our friend Trevor Pardue in that has the new Crossman Shockwave. Okay. I'm hey, how old boys? <laughs> oh, how are you, man? Doing good, doing good. How are you doing? All yeah, right. Yeah, so he's got the Shockwave here. Incredible rifle, uh, 4x32 scope. Put the pellet in there, just pump it one time, single shot. I love and it, you're man. like a damn sniper. So the rules of this competition, he's gonna drive around in circles, but the minute you get on that hill, you fire. So the, the player's gonna come up, you fire the weapon, you break right. the bottle. All right. It's easy. Come well, on, uh, easy. Come on. All about right. 20 mile an hour, fellas. 20? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think maybe uh, it might take a practice a shot or two, but let's see here what happens. Jet black roll back, Johnny Cash in the Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Living out a backpack, cracking. Oh man, oh for two. But this is difficult. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at him bouncing all around. All right, here we go. I feel a little difference coming on here. Yeah! <laughs> well, now you make it look easy after the four try. <laughs> I think he was shooting at the one on the right. Though. Hey, buddy. Hey. Ah. Uh, Good job. <laughs> moving target? No. I mean, come on. You know. Uh, I wanted more, man, but it's hard when your scope is going boom, go boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Just well, hold your breath and pray for that perfect, I know. perfect I guess I'm line. Have to find out, huh? Yeah. Well, I paid him a little under the table to drive a little smoother for me. So. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. <Tim. laughs> oh, that's low, way low. It's not that easy, is it? Well, I can't get it in frame early enough. <laughs> we got Lee Bryce up here. What's he gonna do? I shot right between them! <laughs> All right, guys, comes down to the last shot. He makes it, he wins, he misses, I win. Taking home the bacon. Not much. How are you How doing? are you? Good to see you. Hey, Mr. Hey, Lee Bryce. Bryce. Great to meet you. Good? Yes, sir. Doing good. Our final challenge is this track. There's buckets with points on them. The more you hit, the more points you get. We're going to run two times, and the person with the most points wins. Him and I are neck and neck right now. Yeah. And whoever loses has to send it on this player's over this jump. And Connor, you're here because you have to judge the whole thing. Sounds like a plan. 
We're gonna be using the Crossman Full Auto R1 BB gun. This bad boy shoots 1,400 rounds per minute. 1,400. That's something to beat. Hey, did you hear all the ting, 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 ting? There's a lot of tinging going on. So, uh, want to guess who lost? <laughs> My buddy Morgan Luttrell, a badass American veteran, all around great guy. He's participating in the shoot as well. Let's check out the video. I gotta tell you, just the sheer aggressiveness of the terrain out here and what we were hunting. We were hunting all dad sheep, and they're very elusive. And when we when when we come up on the sheep themselves, the ability for me to jump out with the crossbow, just because it's so small in statue and it has the ability, and the cocking mechanism is so simplistic in design, I was able to, I didn't have to worry about driving around with, with the crossbow on the ready with a bolt in it. I was able to jump out of the truck real quick, wrap it up, throw a bolt in, and, and, and stalk that sheep when I needed to. The, 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 one of the best attributes of that bow was then when those sheep would run off, I was able to remove the bolt and decock the bow without firing my bolt down range or into a rock or into a tree. I have, I've never seen that before. And I'm normally a rifle hunter or a compound hunter. So having the ability to have a rifle type uh, weapon system in my hand, it just, it, it, it put me in my comfort zone. I also, it had it gave me the ability to get a, an arrow kill, but it gave me what I was comfortable with, with when I, it, what I mean by that is hunting with a rifle my entire life. And that, and that, and that Raven R26, I mean, 400 plus peep, feet per second, whatever you, send a bolt that it's, it's absolutely going down couldn't be happier with the weapon system unfortunately we weren't able to get a ram but we did kill a uh we were able to kill a, a, a very what i would say was one of the most aggressive looking hogs i've ever seen in my entire life it just this 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 guy obviously lived in these mountain ranges and you could see the striations in his muscles he was just a beast and that uh, that raven r26 knocked him down in a heartbeat it was it was impressive so Great job to Raven and their, their, their new designs, and I look forward to moving out and hunting something else. Morgan, thank you so much for sending in that video. That sounded like an amazing hunt. And we have something special for you. So we were not, unfortunately, able to hunt in Tennessee because of the quarantine, turkey season's over. We did the air gun challenge, but we wanted to leave you guys with a recipe and a turkey recipe. So our friend Chad Ward from Traeger Grills is gonna come on right now on the Traeger and show you how to do it upright. Hey Tim, thanks guys. Uh, today we're gonna talk about cooking turkey breast. So these are some uh, wild turkey breasts I've got here. 
First thing I want to do is I want to make a brine. So this is just 16 ounces of water. This is our whiskey bit, uh, the dunk brine, quarter of a cup. Pour this 16 ounces of solution in. And then I'm gonna get one that's been brining for about two and a half, three hours. That's how long I like to brine on these size breasts. It's gonna get a lot of moisture, a lot of flavor in it. We're gonna grab this out of brine and then we're gonna go season it. And we're gonna take that, gonna lay it right here on the cutting board. I don't need this brine anymore. I'm gonna get it out of the way. Gonna get just a couple paper towels. And I'm gonna just pat this dry a little bit. Just getting it, patting it dry so that I can get the, uh, the rub to stick well. All right, and now we're gonna go with two of our whiskey bent rubs. We're gonna go with the Fix. This is a great base rub. Salt, pepper, garlic, a lot of flavors to it. And we're gonna lay that down as our base rub. It's real fine. Does a good job of getting into the texture of the meat. And then we're gonna go with our Blazing Bird Rub. So nice, uh, nice savory, a little bit of back end heat, but not gonna kill you, not gonna be too overpowering. Now what we're gonna do, we got our Traeger Grill at 275 degrees, and we're gonna cook this baby about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and I'm looking for, on wild turkey, I'm looking for 155 internal temperature. So we're gonna uh, let this sit for about 10 minutes, throw it on, and then we'll check back in about 60 minutes and see where that turkey's at. All right, guys, we are back. These turkey breasts have hit 155 degrees. The reason for going 155 is wild turkey is super, super lean. So when you pull it off the grill at 155, it's gonna carry over cooked around 160. It's fine to eat poultry as long as it gets above 145. So everything here is safe. And what you're gonna notice after we brined it, after we cooked it to 155, this is gonna be super moist, super delicious. So I'm just gonna come in here, get a couple of slices. Obviously every time when you get a chance, any protein, uh, especially wild game, always make sure you're slicing against the grain. And so there you'll see right there, no pink. Super delicious, nice and moist. You get the flavor from the brine, you get the flavor from the rubs, and obviously that delicious Traeger smoke. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Go out there, cook yourself some turkey breast, and I will see you soon. Went to the grocery store after the stampede. People fight for toilet paper like the UFC. Nothing left on that ship but a lonely can of beans. So I guess I'll head back to the house and take a bath in bleach. Quarantine, quarantine, drinking whiskey like Maxine. Waving at the neighbors, social distancing. Quarantine, quarantine, wearing lights all like sunscreen. Quarantine, quarantine, I want some quarantine. Come on! Stay stocked up, can I get some fresh near me? <laughs> Hope your family's well, Hope their hands are clean. Any chance that you might have an extra AR-15. Quarantine, quarantine, drinking whiskey like Maxine. Waving at the neighbors, social distancing. Quarantine, quarantine, wearing lights all like sunscreen. Quarantine, quarantine.